everybody this is wall educator Jay Ramos bringing you another haircut tutorial so the haircut that we're gonna do in this video is called the wall North American fade and I'm starting this off by lightly damping the hair as you can see I'm not trying to oversaturate when working with long hair one of the first things that we need to do is we need to create a u-shaped parting going from recession area to recession area making sure that our partings are nice and clean And if you need to, take a couple extra seconds to make sure that your parting and your sectioning are nice and clean and even. So now that the hair is dry, we're going to remove bulk by doing clip over comb using my wall cordless senior and my wall comb. As I'm removing bulk using the clip over comb technique, I'm making sure that I'm leaving anywhere from 5 to 6 inches length of hair. Remember, I don't want to go too short because we are going to be using guards and I want to make sure that I remove just enough length where I'm using my guards and my clipper won't snag on the long hair. For any of you guys who are practicing clip over comb technique, when using a wall comb, if you take a look at your wall comb, there's a little groove right by the spine of the comb. Now that little groove, if you take that and you take any wall clipper, the corner of the blade of your wall clipper fits perfectly inside the groove. So that's going to help you to know where to start when you're doing clip over comb and where to stop. So believe it or not, when you're using a wall comb and you use a little groove to practice clip over comb, Eventually, you're able to develop muscle memory on knowing how far to go out, how far to come in. So when you pick up any comb under the sun, you'll be able to do clip over comb with ease. I'm going to be using my number six wall attachment comb, placing it on my cordless clipper, making sure that my adjustment lever is fully closed. I'm starting right in front of the ear, and I'm going to work my way straight up past the parietal ridge. For anyone that doesn't know, the parietal ridge is the area where the curvature of the head is. So we comb the hair, make sure that it's positioned properly, and then we're going to continue working from the left side towards the back, eventually all the way around the head. And you notice I'm starting right above the occipital bone, and at times I'm working down towards the nape, and just bringing the clipper straight up. Again, this is just a lot of repetition because we're trying to bring down the hair all down to the one same even length. So our next number that we're going to be using is our number four attachment comb, placing it firmly on our cordless clipper with the adjustment lever closed. Now, one big difference that you might notice here is I have my mannequin head tilted slightly away from me. The reason why I do this is because now I'm using a technique called parallel to the wall technique. You notice how I'm taking my clipper and I'm literally just going straight up and down. And because of the head being tilted slightly away from me, Eventually, as I keep using different guards, it's going to start creating natural graduation. Now by doing this, a lot of you guys are probably just asking yourselves, am I cutting my number six attachment comb out? I'm not. So the whole idea with this is because of the head being tilted slightly away from you, 
You're starting flush against the head in the beginning, but as you move your clipper upwards towards the parietal ridge, because of the tilt, whichever number that you're using is gonna hover over your existing attachment comb that was previously used. So here's a close-up shot of the parallel to the wall technique. Notice that I'm not following the curvature of the head or flicking my clipper out. That's why I call it parallel to the wall because it's literally up and down. So our next step is my number two attachment comb, placing it on my cordless clipper, making sure that my adjustment lever is fully closed. And we will begin with the parallel to the wall technique again going straight up and down. You guys are noticing the mannequin head is slightly tilted away from me. As I start at the bottom, I'm making sure my clipper is flush. And as I proceed towards a parietal ridge, the clipper starts to hover over my previous attachment combs that I previously used. The question I always get is, it looks like you're cutting out your number four, it looks like you're cutting out your number six. But you're really not, because, because of the tilt of the head, it's literally just hovering over your previous numbers. When you're working with customers that have really bad cow licks and swirls right in the crown area, and you're doing a U-shaped parting, just make sure that you bring the U-shaped parting a little bit further into the crown area, so that way you're able to avoid cutting all the swirls and cow licks too short. Because remember, the shorter we go on the cow licks and swirls, the more the hair is gonna stick up. And that's something we also definitely wanna avoid. So here's a close-up of the parallel to the wall technique and tilting the mannequin head slightly away from you. You can see the graduation in it. Using my wall cordless senior with the adjustment lever closed, also known as a zero, I'm gonna start using my clipper to create a soft line of demarcation on the left side of the mannequin. I'm gonna create this line of demarcation all the way towards the center back of the head. Now working on the right side of the mannequin, we're gonna create a soft line of demarcation towards the center and back to be able to meet the other line of demarcation that we created on the left side. Once you've connected both lines of demarcation, go ahead and adjust the line height accordingly. Using my wall cordless senior, I'm gonna open the adjustment lever, also known as a half, and I'm gonna create a second line of demarcation about a half inch higher than my first line of demarcation. Now with this, I'm gonna follow all the way around the head using a small C-scoop motion technique. And as you notice, I'm going all the way around the head because I'm using my first line of demarcation as a guide so I don't have to start on the left side, I don't have to start on the right side and then connect it in the back anymore. So now I'm gonna close my adjustment lever halfway and I'm gonna use the corner of my blade to start erasing any dark spots, any slight lines of demarcations that left from the first line and the second line, and start bringing my two lines of demarcations together. So as you're doing this, you're gonna use a lot of wrist movement. Now, it's real different than using the parallel to the wall technique because you're working in small spots and using small increments on your adjustment lever. 
you don't want to go up too high because then you'll start cutting into your second line of demarcation. Also, you need to have a lot of clipper control because that's one of the biggest problems is when we don't control our clipper properly, we start cutting into our second line of demarcation and that's how we start bringing our fade higher and higher. And that's what we call line chasing. We don't want to chase that line. I'm still using my wall cordless senior with my number one attachment comb. I'm opening up the adjustment lever. So now I'm using a one and a half. Still using the C-scoop technique. Going up about a half inch. Starting on the left side again, I have my adjustment lever halfway closed and only using the corner of the blade to do any detail and cleanup work. And I'm going to proceed all the way around the head, cleaning up any dark spots. And as you proceed with the haircut, you'll notice there'll be times where you have to open the adjustment lever and close it in small increments. Again, this is just to be able to do any detailed cleanup work. Now using my half attachment comb, I'm going to be using to do what I call detail blending. Now we did all the bulk fading. Now we have to go back in and detail our fade out. Now this is really going to help to eliminate any little dark spots, any shadows that we have. As you proceed with your detail blending, you'll notice that I'm opening and closing my adjustment lever in small increments. Now the cool thing about using your half attachment comb and you have your adjustment lever fully opened, that half attachment comb turns into almost a number one attachment comb. Because think of it, if you have a half plus a half, it turns into a one, correct? Using my number one and a half attachment comb, I'm going to start off with the adjustment lever halfway opened and I'm still use the C-scoop technique. Now if I feel like I need to go any higher with my clipper, I'm going to fully open the adjustment lever. You're noticing that I'm flaring out the clipper because at this point I'm just cleaning up my blend in my transition area and I'm going back in closing and opening my adjustment lever as needed.
Using my wall cordless detailer LI Pro, I'm going to leave a quarter inch line around the perimeter of the head. Now I'm going to be using my wall finale. This is a great tool because it will remove any stubble that's left and give you a razor like finish. Now the whole reason for this quarter inch line around the head is to help avoid going up any higher than we need to when we're bolting the whole perimeter out. And that's probably the number one problem that a lot of us have when we're fading, especially when we're doing skin fades like this one, is bringing up the skin portion of the fade higher than where we really want it to be. And by doing this quarter inch line around the head, it really helps us not create a hard line of demarcation. Going back in with my wall cordless detailer LI Pro, now I'm just going to go ahead and remove that quarter inch line that we left around the perimeter of the head. Now that we've finished with the fading portion of the haircut, we're going to lightly dampen the hair, being careful not to oversaturate it. We're going to section the hair into five separate sections, going from ear split to ear split and then four subsections going from the apex to the front hairline. Now using my clipper to mimic scissors, I'm going to start cutting the top, pulling the hair straight up at a 90 degree angle. As I work towards the front hairline, using previously cut hair as my guide, I'm making sure that I'm using proper tension to pull the hair at a 90 degree angle. And once I finish with my first section, I'm going to move on to my second one and repeat the same exact steps. 
I'm going to follow this through until I complete all four sections on the top of the head. Now we're going to go ahead and cross check. We're going to start at the front hairline, making sure that we comb the hair from the roots to the ends, having proper tension, or also known as 90 degrees straight up. Now when you're cross checking, you're not trying to recut the hair, you're just trying to eliminate any little imperfections that was left from the previous cut. In order to connect the crown area, we're going to use our fingers at a 90 degree angle to be able to remove the excess length of the hair. We want to bring the hair all the way back to be able to connect it in the crown area, but without going around the perimeter of the head, because on the perimeter of the head, that's where you have your disconnected sides. Now I'm going to start blow drying the hair into the style that I'm going to give him. Now blow drying your haircut is very important to pre-style it because this way you're able to semi-form the hairstyle. Picking up my clipper with the adjustment lever open, I'm going to do some light clipper over comb work to refine the perimeter area so I can make my transition as seamlessly as possible. As I finish up with clip over comb, I'm going in between the teeth of my comb just to eliminate any last little remaining spots of lines or any dark imperfections that I might see. Now I'm going to style the hair using pomade from Wall's 1919 line. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, the wall North American fade. I hope you guys like the haircut. Hope you guys like the tutorial. Go and give us a like, comment, follow.